the Grand Palace today, right in the middle of Bangkok. It's probably the top tourist attraction. There's tons of people here, and it's also almost 100 degrees, so I didn't want to wear pants today, but you have to wear pants in order to get access to the grounds. These guards right here will pull you aside and tell you to wait in this line to, they'll actually loan you pants for free, but instead we went to one of the enterprising entrepreneurs on the street, and for 30 baht, which is basically one dollar, they'll rent you these snazzy pants. So instead of waiting in that line, I mean, to me, this is probably still going to be too short. Oh my god. Straight up the runway. How do they look? Let's go. We're now inside the grounds of the Grand Palace, and I have to say it's pretty spectacular. Even though this isn't the current uh, palace for the King of Thailand, they still host tons of special events here, and it's just a pretty spectacular place, even though it is crowded. So I'm just going to walk around and take in the beauty. Not, I'm almost speechless. We're about to go inside and pay our respects to the Buddha. You have to take your shoes off and leave them outside, take your hat off. Uh, it almost feels like I don't have any socks on. It's like I'm going through TSA security. I feel kind of gross. So I'd recommend if you're a germaphobe, bring in a pair of socks. Uh, so no videoing inside, so I'm going to go take a look. Right now we're at Wat Po, which is uh, also known as the Temple of the Reclining Buddha, as you can see the huge Buddha behind me. It's right next to the Grand Palace, and they're much more lax here when it comes to dress code. They didn't make us dress in pants. We did have to take off our shoes, though, so I'd recommend if you're going to be doing these sites, flip-flops are easy to take on and off shoes will be good. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a tapping noise, uh, and so let's go check out the other side to see what that noise is all about. All right, if you can hear all the clanking, it's because to pay tribute for 20 baht, not even a dollar, you can get a... thing of these metal coins, and just as you exit, sprinkle them into each one. I need the luck, so maybe I'll go back for another one. It's actually pretty therapeutic. Bangkok's pretty sleepy on Sunday morning, so originally I went out to get some massages at like 9 or 10 a.m. and everything was pretty much closed till noon, so I decided to take a river tour. So we're here right next to the Peninsula Hotel, right on the river. And, uh, you know, right when you walk up, they said, you know, how much for, for the ride? I think they said 1,500 baht. I said 1,000, which is basically $30 for the hour tour. He accepted, and then they just pulled the boat right up, and the two of us actually just had our own boat for the hour. It was pretty cool. You know, the, the water is not the prettiest. You're not in the Caribbean here, but uh, we had fun. We went down a little canal. We saw some lizards. We saw some huge fish. At one point, you'll see in the video, we uh, got a chance to throw bread to the huge fish that we're feeding, and even I got swindled on the high seas by a, a very savvy businesswoman who sold me beer that I didn't end up drinking because it was filthy. But I wanted the experience regardless, so it was actually really fun. Yeah. 
100 for two. Oh, oh come on, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, come on. Come on, that's three dollars, give me two. These things are like 20 cents each. No, 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 I'm going for two. Come on, yeah. A hundred's three dollars, that's two beers. No, 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 come on, give me the second beer. Okay, give me my money back. There we go, come on, come on. No. Come on, one more. I have only horse. Fifty baht each is perfectly fair. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Give me my hundred back. No, I don't want. I want the beer. Twenty. There you go. Twenty baht for that. Come on. There we go. Have a good day. I just got totally ripped off, for, but. You know, four bucks for two beers. She runs a, she runs a hard bargain, what can I say?